Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today's video is going to be my ranking, my last 10 palettes video. I've been doing this series for a while. I got this series idea from my friend Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. I will of course have her channel down below. I love doing this series. You always seem to really enjoy doing this series as well, so... We're just gonna keep the ball rolling. I think it's fun to just kind of recap on the palettes I've used recently, kind of rank them, chat about my thoughts, kind of, I don't know, just give you more of an update. I did recently, last month, do a video where I ranked all the palettes I'd tried so far in 2021, so if you're curious about that, go check it out, and I will be doing it again for the entire year at the end of the year. I've been keeping a list, so it won't be so overwhelming. I didn't end up doing it last year because there were way too many palettes and I wasn't keeping track from the get-go, so, I just couldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it this year. I've been keeping notes. <laughs> Before we hop into the video itself, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up. And let me just give you my details. My necklace today is from Shop Sun & Co. This is a Christmas brand wig. You can check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. And this beanie is from Spooky Doodle Club. All right, so with all that being said, let's just hop in and rank my last 10 palettes that I used. Honestly, I like most of the things I tried. I had a really hard time ranking <laughs> some of the items this time because I only dislike one of the things. So let's just kick it off with the bad one. Um, ranked number 10, this is my e.l.f. Electric Mood Palette. It's just not my favorite. I used it in a Get Ready With Me and I don't know, the mattes are just very lackluster. I had a little bit of blending issues. This wasn't nearly as bad as the e.l.f. J. Kissa palette was for me, but it just wasn't great. The shimmers are very inconsistent. This one, Pound Coin, for instance, is so beautiful and emollient and glitzy. And then this blue one is just nothing. It takes so much digging to get even the slightest bit of payoff. It's just very inconsistent. It's not my favorite thing to use. Yeah, this one's ranked number 10 for sure. But moving on, everything else going forward, I actually really like, <laughs> but obviously I still had to rank things, so I'll explain why some things got pushed lower than others. Ranked number nine is the ColourPop Lilac You A Lot palette. I was not expecting to get sent this. Um, I got sent it because they came out with little bundles for the Lilac palette, the Coconut palette, and one of the other palettes that I can't remember which one, and they sent me the bundle for the Lilac palette. I used this in a Get Ready With Me, and I did an Instagram video with this palette. I love this. I probably never would have picked this up just because at this point it's been out for a long time. I don't know, I just didn't feel like I needed it, but this is gorgeous. Five beautiful mattes and they're all so very different in tone, so you could do so many different kinds of looks. These shimmers are so special. I'm so thrilled with this palette. The only reason this got ranked so low is just because as we're entering this time of year, playing with lavenders isn't like, super on my radar right now. I'm not crazy seasonal with my makeup, but I do gravitate towards certain things certain times a year. And we're about to enter the time of year for mustard and olive and black and orange and pumpkins and spooky things, all that good stuff. So this is just not what I'm reaching for the most right now, but I do love this palette. I think it's beautiful. Um, I'm kind of mad at myself for not picking this up sooner because this is great. Moving on, ranked number eight. I gave it to one of the new Musée Beauty palettes. This is the Honoré palette. I did already do a video where I did a two looks video with both of the new palettes and I did an Instagram video with this. It is so cute. I really love their nine pan format. They just create really cool curated color stories. I really like this pinky, bluey, greeny vibe. It's very much a garden to me. It's so cute. I really like their formulas. I find them to be very beginner friendly. The mattes build up really easy and nicely. The shimmers are very wet looking. They're not super sparkly, which I do prefer more of a sparkle, but they do just look very shiny and wet on the eyes, which is super glorious. I'm really enjoying this palette. Again, the only reason this one got ranked down low is just because all the other color stories we're gonna talk about kind of speak to me a little bit more right this second, but this is gorgeous. I really like the combination of colors in here. Ranked number seven, this is the new Game Beauty palette. This is the Victory palette. I did already do a first impression style video and I did an Instagram video. Full disclosure, my first impression style video playing with this palette was sponsored, but my Instagram video wasn't. This video isn't. All of my thoughts have been and always will be my own, but 
full disclosure, the first video with this palette was sponsored. But I've loved all their other palettes and I was super stoked to see a new one from them. And these colors are very much like summer entering fall for me and I love that, it's very autumnal. These shimmers are gorgeous. Last Cannon is such a gorgeous blue. I cannot stress it enough. Loot is such a beautiful kind of minty white sparkly sensation. It looks so cool as a face highlight. The mattes are all really pretty. There are quite a lot of like warm orangey brown shades, but they do all have a different kind of undertone going for it. So you can kind of play with different angles of your look. I'm really happy with this. Oh, and Glory. I did not give Glory enough attention just now. It is the prettiest kind of rosy, glitzy, bronzy. Ooh, the shimmers in this palette make me super happy. I'm thrilled with this one and I cannot wait to see what's next. Moving on to number six, rounding out the bottom five of my Ranking My Last 10 palettes. This is the other Mousse Beauty palette that just came out recently. This is the Triumph of Venus. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Just the smoky blues, it's so pretty. I just love all the different tones. We have kind of very cool toned, almost periwinkle-ish blues. We have like the teal, the dark smoky gray colors, the pops of orange. It's so yummy. I love this so much. It's honestly just the smokiness that is really speaking to me with this palette. I had such a fun time with this color story. And again, I did feature this in that video where I did a two looks with the other Mousse Beauty palette and I did an Instagram video with this as well. If you're ever curious if I've done a video on something, you can go to my actual channel and there's a little search bar and you can just type in whatever your mind thinks of and if I've done it, it'll pop up for you. <laughs> Moving on to my top five of my Ranking My Last 10 palettes. I love all of these so much. I mean, obviously I've loved the last four. <laughs> obviously I love the top five, but you know, I'm just excited. Number five is gonna be my ColourPop and Tinkerbell palette, the Sprinkle A Little Magic palette. This is so cute. I very recently just did a first impression style video with this whole Tinkerbell collection, and this eye look features this palette on my Instagram. This is beautiful. I live for the tones in here. I think it's so glorious. The different shades of green with all completely different undertones. You could do so much with this palette. We have these really pretty kind of neutrally pinks, the golden bronzy shades. I love this palette. I think they did a killer job. There's no pressed glitters. It's just beautiful shimmers and lovely mattes and it's all good things. I'm having a blast with this palette. I might, might try to do a two looks video with this. I can't promise that I'm going on vacation in two days. Um, I'll already be on my trip by the time this video goes up. So I don't know if I will get to it. If I do get to it, it won't be up for probably two weeks. And I can't promise I'll get to it because by the time I get home in a week, everything could have changed with my filming schedule because things change so fast. But if time permits, I will try to do a two looks video. But regardless, I did do the first impressions video and this Instagram video if you wanna see two looks. I am having a blast with this. One of my favorite releases from ColourPop this year by far. Moving on to number four. This next one was a gift from a subscriber. Gabby, thank you so much. I'm so thrilled with this palette. I'm having such a good time. This is the Melt Cosmetics 420 palette. I was planning on gifting this to myself whenever they had a sale, pretty much around this time of year or later. Um, and I'm just so excited that I have it. This was such a kind gift. It's a fall grungy dream. We have the burnt rusty oranges and the yellow and the chartreusey greens, the blue, the purple. It is all good things. It's all mattes except for one gold shimmer. Do wish maybe there were more shimmers in here, but I'm not mad at this because these mattes are truly just so lovely and I can always pull in other shimmers. I'm having such a beautiful time with this. I know this palette's been controversial, or melt palettes in general, I should say. Some people like them, some people don't. I've still yet to find a melt palette that I don't like. I've had nothing but great experience with this so far. I did post a get ready with me with this and an Instagram video, so you can check those out. I'm loving this palette. It speaks to my soul and it makes me so happy. Oh, moving on to my top three. I'm so excited about this one. This one, number three, is gonna be my BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette. I'm so happy I finally gifted this to myself. I've been wanting this ever since it launched last year and I just kept talking myself out of it and I am loving it. I have literally no bad things to say. It makes me so thrilled. I did use this in a Get Ready With Me recently and I did an Instagram video and it's just so cute. The shimmers in here are so special. And listen, I know what you might be thinking. Betty Jean, that's not very much a fall vibe. Why did this one get pushed so much higher when some of the other color stories didn't? 
it's just that special. I don't know what to tell you. I love blues and purples and periwinkle tones. The shimmers in here are so glorious. I thought the 420 was gonna beat this one, but the shimmers in here are just so special. I couldn't not give this the third slot. I am having a blast with this. I'm so glad I finally gifted it to myself. Moving on to number two. I'm giving this slot to the Alien Cosmetics Not Normal palette. I love this palette. I've done a two looks video. I did a first impressions. I did an Instagram video. I've done so much with this palette. To me, this is a spooky Beetlejuice dream. I love all these colors together. The shimmers are so beautiful, especially Gemini. Gemini deserves the highest of praises, a chef's kiss. I've had such a beautiful experience playing with this. It's so grungy and it gets so deep and jewel toned and lovely. I feel like you can do quite a variety with this with the different mattes that they put in. I'm having such a good time with this and I knew this was gonna make it up really, really high. I actually thought this was probably gonna be number one until the final palette that I'm gonna talk about with you. And finally, the number one palette out of my last 10 palettes is gonna be my Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. I'm so happy that I bought this for myself. It's so beautiful. Right now there is debate on if this is not coming back or if it is coming back because as of this moment that I'm filming it, it's out of stock. And I've seen some replies from Beauty Bay telling people that it was limited edition and it's not coming back, but I've also seen replies saying that they're working on it. So hopefully it comes back because I know a lot of you really want it and trust me, I know what it's like to have a Beauty Bay palette get away from you because I decided not to get the Book of Magic palette last year. I hope so bad they bring it back because I want it so bad. So hopefully they bring this one back. I'm having such a beautiful time with it. Again, I did a first impressions video, a two looks video, an Instagram video. I did a lot and I'm actually taking this on my trip with me when I pack tomorrow night. I love this. It's just a grungy, earthy dream. It can be very autumnal, but also just colorful, jewel toned. The shimmers are so spectacular. Ray is such a beautiful, shifty, greeny, white shade. Can you tell I like those kinds of shades? I just realized there's been like three very similar shades that I've been in love with. I've had no issues with blending, patchiness, anything. It's been such a beautiful dream to work with. I'm so happy with this. It's my first time trying Beauty Base Formula and I'm very impressed. So this was a very good choice in my opinion for me to buy. I'm very happy with it. So yeah, that was ranking my last 10 palettes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to know what you think. Side note, if you think I missed something because I inevitably always get a couple comments saying, oh, you forgot this palette that you used recently. It was in the last one, I promise you. I write everything down as I get it. So if you think I skipped something, it's because it was in the last one. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to know what you think. Do you agree with my ranking? Did it surprise you? I would love to know if you've tried any of these yourself or if you want to, let's chat down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me your last 10 most recently used emojis. If you're not already, please follow my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that good stuff. It is Batty Bean. I post every day on Instagram and you could subscribe here as well. I post most days here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,